way to Roach Grass Track, where hopefully there should be uh, some good grass track racing and give me a chance to try out this moto vlogging setup, which consists of separate recorder, Olympus voice recorder, this E4K. I think E stands for Yeezless, because I've had so many problems with it, so I always think the GoPro is the next, although GoPro hasn't run out with its problems, I understand, so I'm going to potter off up the road to Roach, which isn't very far from here, five or six miles, I think, roughly speaking, near Victoria, nice Mustang there, and in my summer gear, I've got camera stuff with me by the bucket load, as usual, me, I seem to be always uh, carrying more gear than I need, right, uh, right here, this is my local road. Okay, so as long as I down. Yeah, no idea if this is a recording. What's that? Something flat there, and that's because like every time this is why I don't like these uh, buckle helmets, strap and buckle, because I always forget to do them up. Yet with my other show eye, which has a, a just a, a clasp that you clip in, I always remember to put that on. So, despite the fact that people seem to love these, I don't. No idea with the rest of the. Try not to. <sighs> For somebody like myself who's fumble fingered, it's a very good way of getting killed. Helmet could fly off. Really, I could do the separate vlogging helmet all. Nicely new setup, but that's hundreds of pounds, so, and I'm not in the market for that just now. Household recycling is also uh, our friends who've got a severely ill daughter. Live very sad story. Huh? I hope she gets better. Watch these guys because, yep, he's going straight across the roundabout. Naughty, naughty. Yep. And I thought I'd get a lot of readers. Yep. In two lanes at once. Oh, I just held back into the. And then I went past. I'll review this footage when I uh, get there just to see the angle of the camera's finally right because it's just a tad low. I didn't want to go fiddling with it too much. When I get it properly sorted, I'll line up some red marks to show. So, yes, Roach Grass Track held, I think, twice a year, part of the national championships, I believe. Obviously, I'm particularly the side part of um, a strap because that speedway on is very going to be very dry, dusty uh, conditions. Uh, 
video and fast and front tape. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some pictures and chin out of it. So what they're doing here, because it looks like they completely denuded that, uh, well, it's a clay tip basically, and what they denuded it for, they're going to put other things there. I know that there's uh, a lot of these were covered in plants that are potentially um, a threat because of carrying various disease pathogens. I can't imagine they're going to build on that unless they completely level it. We should take a now. Let's take one heck of a of a lot of bulldozers. Something that big down. Okay, you never know. Yeah. So we're now in the clay country, uh, which as the name suggests is where they mine the clay or the, what did mine the China clay. I think they do, do do to a certain extent. It's not the industry it was, like many aspects of Cornish mining. It doesn't exist so much anymore. However, there is a bit of brightness on the horizon and that brightness is that um, they're now drilling uh, for lithium, for batteries, for electric cars and other things. Uh, just a bit further along here, Cornish Lithium. I think the initial drilling seems a bit really quite um, promising. That we're really going to that brings a bit more uh, industry back to Cornwall. Uh, of course, in a lot lower key way than it would have been in the past. You know, in the past, this would have all been uh, mining activity, this whole area would have been bare. Uh, there would have been leads above ground working, so just to the right, British lithium is the entire plant. So that's very old. Oh, I can see some, um, some orchids, I think, over there, which I'll have to inspect on my way home. It's, it's a good orchid sign as well. All this landscape is all clay, to the left, to the right, um, and if it's not clay, there's tin, copper, boron, zinc, mines everywhere, literally everywhere around Cornwall. Uh, huge mining heritage, and people always associate Cornwall these days with um, tourism, beaches, and all, you know. Rick Stein and stuff like that, but up to probably the 1960s it was primarily an industrial region and the tourism took over later. Oh, there's another motorbike up front, which looks like the classic. Excellent. Not going very fast though. That's that museum is a classic, or he's just taking it carefully. Actually, a 40 limit here. And now there's a lot of building going on as works are all around. Um, the roach itself is mainly noticeable for something called roach rock, which I'll hopefully try and point out. You may or may not be able to see it, which is a, I think, a 14th century, oh, I'll put up on screen a uh, correction or uh, whatever date it was, Hermitage, um, built on the remains of a volcano, basically. Um, quite a quite a site. Um, otherwise, the roach is fairly unremarkable. It's a typical small clay town. There's a nursing home here or a residential care home. There's a pub. Um, there's various industrial um, units and it's the gateway to uh, the rest of Cornwall and the UK because the main A30 road goes down a mile outside the other side of Roach uh, which I'm now heading towards where the grass truck is. Um, I guess like many other places in Cornwall it would have been more prosperous a hundred years ago than it is now. So Roach Rock over to the right. Yeah, I already saw that. Didn't really look at it very much because uh, 
We're keeping an eye on these cars in front. Uh, no, not fast. It's the reverse. Everything happens in slow motion. And driving rules are reversed generally. So, cars from side roads seem to have priority. Green light seems to mean slow down. Double yellow lines mean to park here, especially if it's near a butcher shop. Very um, idiosyncratic. Oh, there goes Tesla man. I don't know why they uh, buy them. They, couldn't they just have a mean rich tattooed on their foreheads. Uh, they so much quicker and cheaper. And then they can spend the, and the rest of their money on Dakiris and uh, hanging out with the designer's stubble with the, with the rest of the, uh, the crowd, you know. Uh, anyway, oops, left the indicator on. Why do I all bike self cancelling? The Harleys have been for donkey's years. No, we've definitely got to be the same. So, we're nearly there. We're heading out of Roach and the endless line of bungalow. Bungalow, bungalow, bungalow. Um, yeah, actually, bungalows are very sensible things to. Especially if you're not in the best health, stairs are not a great idea. Here, here lies the event right up ahead. Looks pretty busy. There's been a good turnout. Oh, I think I just missed the entrance. Bollocks. Maybe I can turn around somewhere. Yeah, go. Yeah. Or maybe there's an entrance down here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to turn the run the run around. Lovely. Where would be the best place to do that? Just up here. But I'm sure there won't be anybody actually working in this uh, industrial unit, or not many, anyway. Yeah. So this will be nicely. to turn round. Yes. Yes, that's those two. Right, try that again. Yeah, yeah looks like a good turnout. These are quite major races. Um, as I said, keys and he said, well, you might be able to get cold drinks, perhaps. Can I go in? Oh, gravel, 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 my least favourite of all surfaces. Spectators. Guys are up. Oh, in third. Crap. Yeah, I dream of that. Fine side of low L Muto Bicycle. There's some grass trucking myself now. Excellentibus. What shall I do? Let's get a bit closer. In the second. Now then, how hard is this ground? I don't want to be, uh... Yeah, oh, I think I can be a bit closer. I don't want to be doing too much walking with her. Ground should be pretty hard. I don't think the bike's going to sink in. You know, in some years... See if that's been recording or if I've just been talking box to myself. 